This is Oregon. Vast, vibrant, home to some of the most productive forests on Earth. Nearly half of Oregon is forest land. These forests play a leading role in nearly everything here. Clean air and water, wildlife habitat, recreation, renewable wood products, you name it. Forests really do touch the lives of every Oregonian. To achieve this array of forest benefits, Oregon maintains a careful balance of forest uses. Roughly a third are used for sustainable timber production. A third are managed for multiple uses. And a third are protected forest reserves with little to no timber harvest. But maintaining this balance takes a diverse team of hardworking professionals, dedicating their lives, sweat, and expertise to make Oregon's forest truly work for everyone. And it all starts with the land. Many Oregon forests are privately owned, like the DeFries family ranch in eastern Oregon. The DeFries ranch is about 2,000 acres. The ranch has been in the family since 1904. We, you know, we really just love this place. Uh, it's very dear to all our hearts, and we try to manage it in the best way we know how. We want clean water, we want wildlife habitat, we want uh, healthy forests, as well as supplying timber for the market. We're certainly not experts in the forestry field, so we have worked closely with Oregon State Extension from professional foresters, from fish and wildlife experts. You know, it really takes a team effort to, uh, to make this work. We think it's gotten better and better every year, and that's really our goal, is to leave this in a better condition for our kids and grandkids than what we received it. Nearly two-thirds of Oregon's forest land is publicly owned and managed by the state or federal government. Balancing the public values and expectations for these forests can be challenging, to say the least. A lot of people come to the National Forest for recreation, but there's a lot of other things that happen on National Forests that are really important. Water quality, wildlife habitat, and providing wood for local and regional economies. I think one of the biggest challenges is there are a lot of different conflicting values, and so it really takes everybody coming to the table and understanding that to have a healthy forest, um, we need to come together and work through those different values. Getting to see some of the areas and getting to see a healthy forest and know that I've been a part of that um, gives me a lot of pride. With so many people playing in or living near the forest, the threat of fire is always a consideration. Certainly the number of people that are living in and around forests has definitely changed the complexity of wildfire. So now in addition to fighting the fire, we're also really looking at the impacts to the public and to the economy and to the social aspects all around the communities where we, you know, we come in and we take over for a few weeks. We come from all over Oregon and try to bring some organization to some chaos out there. And we do that because we all, we love Oregon. We love being able to preserve that and do the best we can to protect it. Healthy forests don't always happen on their own. A team of professionals with a range of roles and skills continuously monitors and manages for the health and productivity of Oregon's forests. Many people think that you might just be able to plant a tree and you're all done, but actually there's dozens of people who are really dedicated to the profession of forestry over many decades who are helping that tree grow from a seedling to a mature tree. Forest management in Oregon starts with planting trees. In Oregon, we replant over 40 million seedlings every year. And we know that by doing so, we'll have forests forever in Oregon. It takes an entire team of people to grow a healthy and mature forest. And thanks to the researchers collecting the data, their work will help forest practices in the future. There are a tremendous number of wildlife that call Oregon home. You know, we want wildlife populations to be sustained now and into the future, and so understanding their biological needs helps us make sure that we're providing the habitat that will be around for generations to come. As a wildlife biologist, I work with a whole team of researchers. We all work together to provide the data that's needed to help provide for wildlife habitat and healthy forests. With so many demands placed on our forest, today's wood manufacturers need to maximize every bit of the trees they harvest. So we're very excited to say that Oregon is both the number one lumber and plywood manufacturer uh, here in the United States. 
Working in the wood products industry carries both passion and pride from the innovation that we employ in our manufacturing process uh, right down to uh, working with very genuine and passionate employees. The wood products industry isn't made up of a single segment or a single individual, but more as a team. A team from those that manage our forests to those that manufacture our products to those that carry it to market. As Oregon's forest sector continues to evolve and innovate, it's attracting experts and professionals who are taking an interest in sustainable forestry, perhaps for the first time. In the last couple of decades, we've been thinking more about the materials uh, that we specify and use and want to try to understand them more deeply. So I feel like we do have a connection to the forest sector and that when we specify wood, that it is a material that supports our local communities. And we really are starting to feel like we're part of the forest sector uh, and they're part of us. So much forest land. So many voices and values these forests are working because these people are working, striving every day to attain a harmony of nature, societal demands, and responsible wood production. They look after, protect, and manage the single greatest treasure we have, our forests. Good work, everybody.